Okay, so I'm, I'm recording this now. So for those of you that are not able to attend tonight, thanks so much for watching. Um, so we're going to cover tonight um, what it is that um, we do as wellness influencers and is it something that you might be interested in? And um, is it is your name pronounced Saran or is it Saran? Or is it's it Sharon. It's a it's like an S H. So Sharon is the, the correct. Yeah. Uh, it was neither then. <laughs> and neither. So that was yeah. So I'm used to that. So I apologize for not um, getting back to you on that. I've been a mess, as you know. So <laughs> you were moving. So I completely understand. Yes. Well, my son's name is Eben, and he gets it all the time too. He's he's always called Eben and Evan and all kinds of yeah. Different. I bet yes, that's great. <laughs> I'm all that's great because I can feel it. I know what know what he's going through. Yeah. Yep, exactly. So, um, Saran and I, Sharon, because I'm gonna just do it a thousand times now. That's okay. <laughs> we were talking before about, um, you know, we're going to talk tonight about, um, is this something that you will be interested in? Um, and we're, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a little bit of my story, how I got started, how it's evolved throughout the years, how I fit it into crazy busy mom life, um, and how it's changed my life too. And I also have a story from a friend of mine that I'll share with you tonight, um, and you know, maybe you'll resonate with parts of my story, maybe parts of her story, who knows, maybe neither of our stories, but hopefully that's not true. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So let's start off first and just, I want to tell you, cause maybe you have questions of like, well, Aaron, what is it that you even do as a wellness influencer, as a coach? I think you've been following me for a little bit on Instagram and other social media outlets and have seen some of what I'm sharing. But what we do is we connect with um, a leading company that provides a total solution of home workout programs, um, awesome nutrition programs that help you get results, but also are all about um, nutrition for healthy lifestyle for what I like to think of it as real life, how to eat healthy for real life. <laughs> like, okay, well, yeah. but I'm a mom or I want to be able to go out to eat <laughs> real life situations. So nutrition programs for real life situations too. Um, and peer support. So those three pieces to meet that total solution for living that healthy lifestyle, getting results and maintaining those results for life. So we partner with a leading company that provides that total solution. And what we do as wellness influencers or as coaches, I mean, it's one in the same thing, whatever you want to call yourself, um, is we um, provide that peer support um, by being proof that the products work, meaning we just show up and we do our workouts and we follow healthy nutrition programs and um, it gives us the accountability for our own selves to show up and do those things every single day and just quite simply share our own stories, our own journeys with doing those things. So whatever your journey is with following the home workout program or the nutrition program or both and um, connecting with other people that peer support in doing that, whatever your journey is, just sharing that with other people um, as a means to helping them to get started in building that healthy community space. So that's what a wellness influencer does and, um, and or coach does um, in this space. So there's a little bit more to it, of course, of like, okay, well, do we share on social media or not? Do you have to have results or not? The answer to both of those questions is no, you don't have to have results first. This is all about sharing your journey from day one um, and just being that peer support with somebody right alongside somebody from day one. Um, and whether or not you choose to share that on social media is honestly quite up to you. Um, and you know, the way the world works, most especially now <laughs> that we are all home, 
we have more opportunity to reach more people if we do um, share our stories on social media than if we are trying to share our stories just in a face-to-face -face capacity. Um, but no, there's no rules to how you go about um, sharing your stories and reaching people. So um, those are often two questions that come up, but I'll leave some time at the end where you can ask some questions um, to, if there's anything that's looming on your mind. But let's get into some of the stories because they might answer some of those questions too. And I'd love to share with you my friend Lindsay's story because she has a really inspiring story um, and she is a busy mom, busy person who's found a really great way to be able to fit this into her life. And for her, it has definitely also evolved throughout the years. So let me share my screen and... She wasn't able to attend live tonight, so she was kind enough to share it and record it. <laughs> so that is, oh, we'll get out of there. Um, one way, you're already getting a hint that busy moms do it. <laughs> share ahead and record. <laughs> can you see my screen, Sean? I, I can, yes. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and press play. Hi, I am Lindsay Fortney, and I'm so excited to share a little bit about my, my coaching story with you today. So thanks for tuning in. Um, I have actually been a coach for five years. It's crazy because the time has flown by in some ways. Um, and it's also fun to kind of think back to when I was starting. So when I made the decision to become a coach with Beachbody, I had a five and a two-year-old. I was working full-time as a realtor. And my husband is actually a shift worker. So he works 12 hour shifts, nights and days off and on. Um, so life was crazy. Like it was very busy. And one of the hesitations I had when I decided to become a coach or I was thinking about it, I was like, oh, I don't feel like I have any extra time in my day. Like, how am I going to make this work? Um, and maybe you feel that way too. But here's what happened for me. Um, because I had kind of made the adjustment to figure out how to fit fitness and um, healthier eating into my life. I was in a better place energy wise. Um, I was feeling better than I had ever felt um, even in my 20s. And I was learning how to actually shift my priorities. So for me, I used to spend the nights scrolling Pinterest and watching Netflix. <laughs> so when I decided to become a coach, I was like, what if I took that like one to two hours at night when I was typically just sitting on the couch doing nothing. Um, and I started to actually work on this business that I was passionate about and I loved helping people and I loved the accountability it gave me for my own health and wellness journey. And I loved the people that I met uh, throughout it. So I started to kind of trade that time. So just like I had done, I learned how to do with my workouts, make them a priority. I started to make the business a priority too. And it grew and it was amazing. Um, there was lots of chaos, but I used to find ways to fit it into my busy schedule. So for example, when I was driving to open houses or showings, I would listen to a podcast um, on my Bluetooth on the way there. Uh, or if I was sitting at, at an open house, which sometimes they were slow and nobody would come and you'd be there for a couple hours, I would work on writing some posts or I would connect with some people or I would check into my challenge groups. Um, like I said, I really just found those pockets of time. Sometimes I would work later at night, sometimes before the kids got up. Um, that's just how I, how I worked it at the beginning. Now, I ended up actually leaving real estate um, my full-time real estate gig because our son uh, became chronically ill right when I started to, to coach. Um, and I actually went through that journey. It kind of paralleled me going through coaching. And in so many ways, coaching was such a lifeline for me during that struggle. Um, doctors appointments and specialists and on the road um, all the time and really a lot of uncertainty. And I could have been in a really negative headspace, but instead uh, I had the most incredible support network around me. Plus, I was pouring into myself being a coach. I was focused on personal development and listening to things that made me you know, want to grow and be better. I was exercising. I was eating better. So all of those things really helped me get through one of the toughest times um, I can remember in any, in any recent history. Um, so what happened, though, was that with all of that going on and life being the way it was after a few years, I said to my husband, I'm like, 
this is kind of crazy. Like we, we were on a Disney vacation and I remember getting a call from an agent, even though another broker was supposed to be taking care of my clients and talking to the agent, we're in Magic Kingdom. And I'm like, all I want to do is be focusing on my family. And here I am on the phone with a broker or with an agent. Um, and that was kind of the beginning of it, where I said to my husband um, on the drive home from Florida, I said, what if I left real estate and I just did coaching full time? And he was like, it's about time. So for us, that was the right move. Um, it just gave me a lot more flexibility with our son and his medical appointments and those sorts of things and being a caregiver. Um, but it also continued to give me those connections with other women. It gave me a community to be a part of. It gave me a passion. It gave me an income um, so that I could continue to contribute and, you know, work towards the goals and things that I had for our family. So that was a shift that I made. I'll say when I started coaching, I had zero intention of actually leaving my full-time job. I liked my full-time job. It's just our life circumstances changed and it was so nice to have that option there that I could act, that I could like seamlessly go into. So that was kind of cool. But fast forward to now, <laughs> pandemic we are in the middle of this craziness and i actually because my son is immune compromised we have our kids home for virtual learning at the exact same time my husband took a new position where he's working monday to friday during the school hours so it is just mama all the time um and it was chaos right so the first couple of weeks i was like oh this reminds me of when i started coaching and i was like how am i going to fit all of these things in but I had to pivot. So one of the biggest things that coaching and being a part of the Beachbody community has taught me was to be um, stubborn about my goals, but flexible about my methods. So I had to do the big pivot. I had to adjust my morning routine. I had to make sure that I'm filling my cup. Um, I had to lean into those people that really lift me up so that I wasn't going bonkers with all of this chaos and, you know, being on call basically all day when I'm used to the kids being at school. So I've made that shift. Um, I'm always learning with this business. It's so incredible that way. But if you're somebody who feels like you're like, I just can't add another thing. I can't have another ball in the air. I'm already juggling and they're falling all over and it's crazy. Let me tell you something. First of all, busy people, they know how to get stuff done. Hmm. That's why they're busy. That's why they're, you know, women who, especially women who are, you know, wanting more, they're ambitious, they're energetic. They, they have these bigger goals it's because you know how to get stuff done. So don't talk yourself out of coaching, thinking that you're too busy because you will figure out a way and it's heart work. So not hard work, but it's heart work. You get to do the best work. And when you get those messages from your clients and they tell you, you know, they, they feel like themselves again, or they are finally in the family pictures, or they went to the water park and they wore the bathing suit with their kids and they feel like a million bucks, it is, incredible you can't match it i've been in lots of uh occupations before and this is just something unlike anything else so i hope you enjoyed a little bit about my story um and if you have any questions talk to the coach who brought you in all right she's so inspiring <laughs> yes yes the thing that got me the the most that stuck with me the most i think was the uh flexibility with your methods <laughs> I know. So good. And so poignant for right now, right? <laughs> yeah, really. Because there's a monkey wrench in every corner. <laughs> and, and I was thinking about that today. I was thinking about, I remember when in my 20s, how I, I would not try to have anything extra. I would only try to have one extra thing going on in a week. Like, okay, if this week I'm getting my hair cut, then not, there couldn't be anything else extra, like no extra doctor appointment in that week. Right. <laughs> that just sounds so ridiculous. <laughs> I, I completely identify with that though. <laughs> that's amazing. I lived like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's it. Can't fit anything else in there. That's clearly well before kids. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, it's like now it's just like everything has to get done in one second. <laughs> and then the next second, it's just going to happen all over again. And then it just, it's right. Like, and we just find a way. One way or another, we find a way because busy people, they make it happen. They just do. <laughs> yes. Otherwise, what are we going to do? We're going to wallow in it. And that just is not fun. You know, it's better to just grow with it instead. So right. 
Yeah, I agree. I love that point that she made too. I think it's so great and so inspiring. So my story is is somewhat similar in some senses of, you know, working in pockets of time, but definitely different in sort of how I um, came to this and and my past is a little bit different. Um, I was, I got to coaching um, because I was invited by a friend to join an online virtual challenge group. And um, at first I was in complete denial that I needed any kind of change in my life. And she just kept inviting me. And I eventually said yes to her. I was like, fine, I'm going to prove myself right that I don't need to do this. And it was a 21 day thing, (laughs) you know? prove herself, prove her wrong, but like to prove myself right, that nothing works for me. And that, you know, the, yeah. um, the, again, this isn't going to work either. Um, so it was 21 days of following the total solution, the home workouts, and they were 30 minutes a day, the, um, the nutrition and, um, with the peer support. And I felt a change about two and a half weeks in, I was like, ah, I'm feeling like I actually want to do this for the first time in my life. A very different kind of want that I had ever felt before. But I still didn't believe that I'd actually changed. Because um, I was starting to realize I do actually want to physically change and emotionally changed as I was showing up every day and and do the workouts. I was coming out of that denial and realizing I do want to make some changes, but I didn't believe that they were happening. And at the end of the 21 days, I did my physical results. I did, I weighed myself and I did my measurements and I had lost 10 pounds and 10 inches. And that solidified it for me because no matter what I'd ever done before, I couldn't lose a single pound, not one. And I I couldn't believe it because I didn't change all that much with the way I was eating as compared to before and only 30 minute workouts. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. And I actually feel good too. So um, then she invited me to be a coach and she mentioned, look, you can just do it for the discount on the products that you're loving. And so I said, okay, I want to do that. That sounds great. But then I realized that so many, not so many, a few friends (laughs) were starting to say, wait a minute, what are you doing? And I am all about sharing anyway. Uh, anything, you know, just like sharing your new favorite restaurant or shampoo. And so I was sharing it and I started to realize, well, gee, anytime I share, all I have to do is send them a link and I will get paid for that. And I'm, I want to start to build this healthy community, just like one that I joined. This, this is, this is awesome. And, um, as I started to realize that it actually opened up in me a dream that I had long ago squashed, which was I was in software um, for my entire career, my entire adult life. And I was never truly happy in doing that. And I had wanted to make a change, but I squashed the idea of it because I started to look at going back to school the idea of spending the money, the time and the energy just was not going to happen. It was overwhelming and I didn't want to find the money. I didn't want to put in the time and the energy to going back to school to make a change to my career. And so as I um, signed up for the discount for coaching and friends started to ask me about this, I started to realize, oh my goodness, the this dream I had squashed, which was a dream to help people and a dream to make a difference in the world, it started to open back up in me. And I realized it's right here. I, I don't have to go back to school. I can just do it right here and now. And I started to do that just in little pockets of time while I was working in corporate, being a mom to a toddler at the time. So just Um, Just like Lindsay said, you know, just working on my lunch break um, at my corporate job or um, in the evening, you know, five, 10 minutes here or there, Um, just inviting friends or connecting with new people or checking in with my, um, my fitness community. 
Um, so just working in little teeny pockets of time to slowly build this business and rebuild that dream in me, um, which has been so cool. And so how it evolved for me was that dream did start to really build up. And I realized I do not want to be in software anymore. I don't want to be in the corporate world anymore. And just over a uh, little over a year ago now, probably close to a year and a half, I guess, um, I said to my husband, I have to leave software. <laughs> I cannot do this anymore. And so I started to make that transition out of there and I've left software and I am now coaching full time. And it's, you know, what's so awesome about this business is there, the opportunity, um, is endless. The potential is endless. You can um, do this as just something on the side, as you know, a hobby, or you can take this to beyond <laughs> what my brain used to even imagine for myself. Um, whatever you choose to put into it, you will get back from it. And um, that's what's really, really cool about this business. And you get back from it both financially when you put in the work, but um, what I've also really loved and I've noticed is you also get back the emotional rewards. You get back um, that nonstop accountability. I know for a fact I would not still be on this healthy path now five years later if I had not signed up to be a coach. I would have continued to just stop and try new things over and over again. Right. Like I had been doing my whole adult life. Mm. So it's given me that lifelong, healthy lifestyle and accountability and peer support that, gosh, that means more than anything. Right. Yeah. So that's a bit of my story. I've fitted in. Um, now I'm fitting it in again in the pockets of time um, because, you know, we were lucky to have my son in school in person. Up until now, he's coming back to remote schooling after Thanksgiving break. So, but even um, while he was in person school, I mean, it's about pockets of time when you're a mom. I think that's the case with almost any job for anyone. These right. days. <laughs> it's all about the pockets of time. But what is so great about a business like this is um, there, there's nobody looming over you to say something has to be done at any given moments in time. You choose when you work, how you work, but you do get mentorship. So I want you to know that if you choose to join my team, if this sounds like this, something that's interesting to you, I am offering a mentorship program. Um, it's going to start the first week of December. I do four to five. We might split it out to five, depending on the holidays there mentorship classes to help you really get started for a successful business. So you're not just left out there on your own going, okay, I've decided to do yeah. this, and now what? Now what? Yeah. <laughs> I set you up for success. And with that December mentorship, what you would do is you would start off with my December boot camp too. So you would start off with that total solution. So you know exactly what it is, that journey that you are sharing um, with the world and with your friends too. So yeah. Um, what questions do you have for me? Well, that sounds great. I am horrible with thinking of questions on the spot, but I'm sure I will have a lot afterwards. I, um, yes. Way. What's that? Yeah, I hear you. I do that too. <laughs> so I'm thinking, so it's 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 a community. I'm I'm assuming so. It's going to be uh, you and I and a group. Is there going to be kind of like after your boot camp and um, your other course? Is there going to be like a regular meeting or some type of thing like that? Yeah, great question. Yeah, so with the boot camp, I do monthly boot camps for um, all of my challengers or customers. Um, and if you join my team, you're always welcome to my monthly boot camps. And um, as a part of my mentorship program, you would join and, and sort of be just as a 
um, participant be a part of that first boot camp. And then afterwards, you and I would work together to figure out, okay, with the next one, do you want to co-host it with me? And then the next one, do you want to run one on your own? So you, I start to help you get to that point where you feel comfortable running your own boot camps. Um, as far as my team of coaches, because um, I have other coaches as well, a team of coaches, um, after your mentorship course classes that I offer, I do do monthly team calls, but we also have a group. Um, it's like an online group. Looks a lot like a Facebook page, but I actually yeah. don't even run it in Facebook. I run it in our own private app so that we can get out of the Facebook world. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, and I do that with my boot camps too. And it's been really nice. It just keeps everything nice and neat to one place and we don't have to get into everything going on um, in the Facebook world. Yeah. Um, so on the, I have a team page for us um, in a place where I can share information with you. We can connect with one another. Um, so more than just our monthly team call too. Okay. And then going yeah. forward, we have opportunity to get together a few times a year even, hopefully, depending on this whole COVID stuff. Right. <laughs> but, but yeah, I just told you, I, I just went through your town yeah. for the first time just before I found you on Instagram. Yeah. I have family that's out there and she, a, a, a younger cousin of mine, and she's um, uh, into fitness and she has her own Instagram page and um, she's, she went to college, I believe for kinesiology, I think, I'm not sure. So she's really like on the scientific side and everything. So she's doing well. Oh, that's awesome. Well, next time you're in Colorado, you need to tell me definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. So that gives me all kinds of reasons to go back. It was the first time I had been there and we had went, my, I live with my brother and my daughter and we drove and we're like, it's not that far from Vegas. It's a great ride. It was a great drive. I bet it so, was. Yeah, yeah. Did you go through any mountain passes and stuff? Oh, yeah. We went through the Rockies. That was the first time. It was so beautiful. I was like trying to take pictures the whole time. It was great. It was beautiful. Great time of year, too. Yeah. And so when we went through Golden, it's Golden, right? where you're at and he and he was telling my brother was driving he was telling me yeah this is where they make the Coors beer <laughs> is that correct that's right <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's like his favorite <laughs> which is so funny because he's usually very like oh he has to have like imported beer and everything but not nah, no the Coors is his favorite <laughs> <laughs> the tour was closed they do a great tour actually really yeah I was figuring yeah it was closed yeah yeah, well, you have to come back. <laughs> yeah, so I, I definitely am in a, in a place where, you know, with COVID and everything, I, um, I have been out of work since the beginning. And so I'm not in a hurry to go back. <laughs> I would like to find something else to do other than be in a call center, but um, I, I don't want to rush things or anything like that. So I want to make sure that I, I, I can kind of ease into it. So I'm definitely interested in starting 